This is Adrian Manns. I'd like to invite the viewers of Stocks and Sectors on the Radar to join me live at the International Traders Expo in my hometown, Los Angeles, California, on June 5th, 2009. I'll be providing a one-hour workshop on my intraday trading style starting at 5.30 p.m. If you can't attend in person, registering for the Expo will give you free access online to both the live and recorded event. To join me, go to the TraderInsight.com homepage and register by clicking on the Traders Expo advertisement. This event's a great place to learn about my style of trading, and best of all, it's sponsored by the Expo and TraderInsight.com, so it's totally free. I'll see you at the Expo. From Los Angeles, TraderInsight.com presents Dr. Adrian Manns in the war room and at the helm with today's look at stocks and sectors on the radar. For TraderInsight.com, I'm Adrian Manns, and this is Stocks and Sectors on the Radar for Friday, May 22nd, 2009. On Thursday, Dow Jones Industrials down 130 points to close at 8292.13. We had 811 stocks advance, 2,213 decline, and nice total volume on the light side at 1.44 billion shares. S&P 500 was down 15 to close at 888.33. NASDAQ 100 down 26 and a third to 1367.39. And the NASDAQ comp down 32 and a half to close at 1695 and a quarter. You'll notice on each of these indices that we've held a key technical level. We are right on the support line of the recent range. If that breaks on Friday, not going to be good news for the indices. We're probably going to retest uh, some of the lows that we put in back around the uh, the beginning of May. Now this time around, it was the prospect of a downgrade in the UK government's credit rating that gapped the indices lower. That gave traders a reason to sell as rumors of US vulnerability to the same kind of an S&P downgrade started spreading. And then we had chatter throughout the day about the Treasury increasing uh, the amount of debt obligations it issues, even as the Fed's trying to buy up dollars to prevent inflation. That made traders nervous about the promise of an economic recovery. And then the close of the bond market saw the Dow give up another 50 points. But by the end of the session, that ground was regained and we closed right around the S2 floor trader pivot and uh, resistance lines. So technically not a great day in the markets. Obviously, any day that you lose 130 points, not a good one. Um, that advanced decline line continued to deteriorate going into the close, even though we had a nice little rebound as the session was coming to an end. VIX moved higher again. We're back above 30. That indicates uncertainty at a time when the markets really seem to be looking for a reason to sell off from uh, some pretty overbought levels. On Wednesday, we talked about the likelihood of lots of infield fly setups taking us lower on the session, and it looks like that's what we wound up with, although all five of the stocks on last night's radar gapped lower, and we're beyond our entry price right out of the gate. So no triggers to talk about Thursday. There were lots of pivot entries on those, but I don't think I want to get into that uh, tonight. So let's talk about three stocks I've got on the radar for Friday. Three stocks I'm watching on Friday. One's in metals and mining. One is road and rail. One's a healthcare provider. First one is Harmony Gold Mining Limited. This is a sponsored ADR, American Depository Receipt. These can be difficult to trade. Uh, might just want to take a look at this, watch it. You can see the uh, volatility that results from sort of the weird volume that you get. These are proxies for stocks that are held in other countries. The uh, fastball setup in this one, this is ticker symbol HMY, going to have us looking for an entry, $11.64, with a very tight initial target up at $11.87. 50% of the target is $11.76 on this one, and uh, S1 is just right above that, so I'm going to be watching that level very very, very carefully and moving my stop to break even the second that I get an 1176 tick. Next one I'm watching is Norfolk Southern Group. This is in the road and rail. Uh, this is in the industrials. We've got a fastball short side setup. We've got an expansion of range, minor expansion of volume. It's a type one fastball setup. Entry is at $33.86 on the short side. The target is $33.51. Um, again, the ticker symbol on that one, NSC. Then finally, I have Universal Health Services Incorporated. This is a healthcare provider, ticker symbol UHS, double header, short side setup, 52.95 on the entry, 52.41 on the target. If you have any questions, shoot me an email, adrian at traderinsight.com. Use protective stops on every trade and have a great trading day on Friday.